Well, hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. Today I'm going to focus on the USPS Vehicle Training Program. This is very important. So, you're a new CCA. Congratulations. One of the very first things you need to learn is how to operate. Usually it's an LLV, a long life vehicle. That's the postal truck you see out on the road all the time. But you might be learning on an FFV, which is a fuel flex vehicle, which is very similar to an LLV. It's a little bit bigger and it's configured slightly different though. Usually it's going to be the LLV training that you're going to be receiving and that's what I'm going to focus on in this video. Yes, there are other, video, other vehicles as well. There are vans, there are things called metro trucks or metro vans. There are a little bit larger trucks uh, as well as the big trucks and, and the, the tractor trailers and things like that. But for this video, it's going to be uh, primarily on the LLVs because that's the vehicle that you're going to be using the most. That and the van. But the van is very much like an ordinary van. Uh, you have the steering wheel on the left side and it's much like a regular civilian van. So I'm not going to talk on that. So let's get back on the LLV. The whole purpose for the vehicle uh, training program is safety. Safety is number one. It's paramount. The quickest way to fail your training is to do something that's not safe. Uh, really, that's one of the only ways to fail it. If you pay attention, if you're alert, if you're doing what the supervisor or the instructor is telling you to do, and if you give it your best shot, uh, you, you're going to pass. Okay, But if you're doing something unsafe, uh, you won't pass. So let me, let me get into it. So basically when you go to the vehicle training, you'll go to either your station or you'll go to a nearby station and you will receive your training there. It's usually performed on the premises, on, in the lot of the postal station, on like a Saturday uh, where there's nobody there, you know, or on a, not really on a Sunday. I, I don't think it happens on Sundays, but mine was on a Saturday. Okay, the instructor is going to focus on safety issues, and so it'll start with things like... Um, mirrors. Uh, he or she will introduce where the mirrors are, how you read them, how you set them. An LLV has many, many mirrors on it that let you see uh, what's in front of you, what's on your left side, what's on your right side, and there's even a mirror that can somewhat show you what's behind you. But there's a big blind spot in that whole process. So nevertheless, the mirrors are very key and they're all manual, so you have to get out of the LLV to actually set them to your vantage points. So time is spent on that. You will learn the very first thing, seat belting. The seat belts are orange, and they're orange for a reason. Uh, they're orange because it allows a supervisor who may be on the street in his or her vehicle who's monitoring you, it will allow them to instantly know if you're driving in this LLV buckled up or not. So yeah, that's why they're orange, if you're ever wondering. So you always have to buckle up when you're in an LLV. Okay? Also, when you're not in an LLV, you have to have the vehicle turned off. You can't leave it running. Okay? Ever. And when you leave the vehicle, you have to curb your tires. Now where I was from, they always had you curb the tires to the right all the time, whether you're on an incline or whether you're on a, you know, a down climb uh, or whether you're on flat surface, it didn't matter. When you parked and got out of your vehicle, you had to curb to the right. Every time, no exceptions. Okay, so you're always seat belted up. You're never running your engine when you're not in the vehicle and you always curb to the right. So these are just things that get ingrained into your head very, very quickly, okay? 
you learn how to use the, um, the emergency lights of the LLV. You're shown how the heater works. You're shown how the fan works. LLVs do not have AC, just so you know that going in. So in summer, it's very hot. In winter, the heater does work, so it's not quite as, uh, quite as uncomfortable. Okay, you're then shown the back of the LLV. There's a roll-down door on it that locks automatically, so it is uh, possible to lock yourself out. Very embarrassing. It's something you don't ever want to do. So you, you, you learn about that. You learn how, how the, um, the doors work. You learn how to lock them, open them, and all of that. So you're, you're, it's very hands-on, okay? So following that, you're actually in the vehicle, and you can drive it. So the first thing you learn to do is you learn to pull up into spaces. So again, it's better to pull up into uh, parking spaces than it is to go into a parking space and the only way to leave is to back up and leave. So it's, it's actually a good thing with your personal vehicle to just always park up into, you know, pull up into spaces rather than um, parking and then backing up to leave. It's a lot easier just to go forward once you leave. It's safer too. So you learn how to do that. You then learn how to back up into a space, and that's when you really use your mirrors, okay? And you have to be very alert when you do that because in the back you have a blind spot, on the side you have a blind spot, and even in the front you have a, a little blind spot. And the instructors love to put um, little orange cones in front of your LLV when you're not looking, uh, and they call, they'll have a name for it, like, this is Timmy. And it represents like a kid or something. And it's like, oh, no, you ran over Timmy. So you have to really be alert, and uh, especially in that training, to make sure that they're not dropping cones and blind spots on you. Okay? So that's important to know. Once you go through that training, you're then, you simulate, you simulate actually being on a mounted run. And you actually will go in the same lot. They usually will have erected five or six mailboxes on posts. And you will drive up to each mailbox and you will go ahead and put mail that you, you know, you have, that you've been given into those boxes. And, you know, some are just a straight deposit. Some, one of them may have some outgoing mail that you grab and you, you know, you, you take it with you. And then another may have a package that's too big for the mailbox, and it could be like a return. And so that will necessitate you having to get out of the vehicle. And that's a time when the, the instructors are looking exactly at, hey, did you turn off the vehicle? Did you curb your tires? Did you set your e-brake? And then when you got out and then you got the, um, the box, um, and then you came back in, did you seat belt back up? Did you turn the e-brake back down? You know, did you signal with your turn indicator to get back on your route, get back on the street? Okay, if you did set your emergency lights, did you, did you release them? Did you turn them off when you got back in the vehicle? These are things they're looking for, okay? Also, you're looking for cones that they may kind of slip on, in on you. So they're, they're looking to make sure you're checking your mirrors out, okay? These are all things they're looking at and critiquing as you're delivering mail to these five or six boxes. Okay, once you do that, then you um, will have your final test, if you will. And this, uh, after the events of 2020, this changed. So the way they did it with me is they would just have you in the LLV yourself. And then there would be one person in front of you and one person in a car behind you. And what they would do is they would take you on a, a trip through town. And you would go on a couple main streets. Uh, you would even go on the highway for one exit. And they're just testing to see how you're operating the LLV. And this is important because the steering is on the, is on the right side of the vehicle, right? That's where the steering wheel is. So you're learning to maneuver this vehicle um, but not from the left side, it's from the right side. 
So it is a little different. It does require a little bit more um, coordination, you know, in the beginning. And they're checking to see how much you're swaying, how much you're swerving, and things like that. Because it does take a minute to, to get oriented to driving from the right side. But it isn't really that difficult. It really isn't. It's just, you know, just have confidence when you do it, and you'll do fine, okay? So that's kind of your final exam, if you will, is to go out on the city streets and then maybe for an exit on the freeway. Um, let me know in the comments, um, what was your test like? What was your final exam, if you will? Uh, was your training process very similar to what I just described, or was it somewhat different? Um, again, mine was very straightforward. It took, from start to finish, there were about five of us in the class, if you will, and it took a few hours at most. It depended on when you went. I was the uh, the, the third person uh, who went through it, so uh, I guess I finished a little earlier than a couple of the others would because they had to wait their turn. But yeah, it went by fairly quick. It wasn't an all-day deal. So uh, mostly it was just having the confidence to do it. You really have to listen, and you know you have to be safe. It's all about safety because after this training, you are responsible. You're not only responsible for this vehicle, um, but you're responsible for keeping yourself safe. And if you get hurt, um, it's going to be on you. And if you get in an accident in the first 90 days of employment, they're going to let you go. You know, they're, they're not even going to question. They're just going to let you go. But the safety, you know, with LLVs, there's a purpose for all that safety training. They want to prevent rollaways and runaways. And that's why you curb your tire. That's why you turn off the engine when you're not in the vehicle, okay? And you want to keep your doors locked at all times, especially when you're not in the vehicle, because you have mail and packages there. And you don't want anyone to have access to it. So that's basically the vehicle uh, training program as I experienced it. Let me know in the comments what your uh, recollections are. You know, or if you're... If you have training upcoming, let me know. Okay? Take care of yourself, and I'll see you in the next video. Please like and subscribe, okay? Take care.